Hello, my name is Smilta and today I'm going to be taking a survey which is about knowing what people know about healthy eating. And the first question is, in a balanced meal food of or origin predominate? And I chose A, vegetable, because vegetables make up half of a balanced meal. And then how many meals a day should we eat? I chose B, which is three. Uh, which of the following bref breakfast options do you think is more balanced? And option A is, is an apple, a slice of brown bread with marmalade and a yogurt. And option B is scrambled eggs with bacon, toast and hot green tea. And I'm not entirely sure which is more balanced. But I chose A because there's an apple um, and it's just more healthy. And then how much water should an adult drink each day? I chose C between one and a half and two liters, which is eight glasses. And then which of these foods has the greatest amount of water? And I chose B and apple um, because fruits have a lot of water. And the other options are chocolate cake and steak. And then how many pieces of fruit should we eat a day? I said B, which is um, seven to eight. Um, and then what kind of fru fruit should we eat? And I choose again B, all that is of the time, um, because we need a variety in our diets. Which of the following fats is the most suitable for seasoning a salad? Um, I don't season I don't like seasoning on my salad um, so I, I really don't know but I chose a olive oil which is the most common to my knowledge and then excess salt um, a it can be healthy if we drink a lot of water B it makes you lose weight if we if eaten every day and C it can cause several diseases and I choose C um, because excess salt um, makes your blood pressure go up and there can be a lot of problems with that. And then, which of these ingredients can replace refined sugar to sweeten food? A. Peppermint, B. Honey, and C. Lemon balm. I don't know what lemon balm is, but I always sweeten my food with honey, so I chose B. And I don't use sugar in my teas and I always, if I want a sweet tea, I always put honey in it. And then the label of a package, A, does not indicate the expiration date, B, it only indicates what product product contains, C, it has a lot, it has a list of all ingredients. And I choose A, does not indicate the expiration date because the expiration date is usually uh, like on the cap or on the bottom of the package and not on the actual label and the next question is we must read the labels of food packaging because a they tell us the exact amount to eat b we find information about the products such as their composition or origin and c from the image we can confirm the contents of the package i chose b we find information about the products, such as their composition or origin. Um, question 13. Nutrients are present in food and are substances. Um, and A. Essential to the proper functioning of the organism. B. Harmful to the organism. And C. All made with sugar. I chose A. That obesity is the cause of many diseases such as a diabetes and heart disease b cold and flu and c tuberculosis and pneumonia i choose a um diabetes and heart disease and then which of these foods can replace meat on a plate a beans or grain grain b cabbage or lettuce c potato or rice and i choose a um, because I like to watch um, people making food 
um, on the internet and I watch I have watched quite a few vegan um, recipes for meat and they usually contain like some type of grain or bean um, and then organic farming a worse in so soil quality B improves soil quality and C use many chemicals I chose B because organic farming means that they don't use chemicals um, and it doesn't worsen soil quality. Um, in 17, we must eat mainly products from our region because A, we know they're farmers, B, they are fresher, C, they are cheaper, I think B, because they're fresher. Um, I don't, and I don't think that they're cheaper and we don't necessarily know the farmers. And then the last question is, to avoid wasting food, we must A. Eat everything they put on the plate, avoiding the product production of leftovers. B. Put on the plate only the amount needed for each person. And C. Compose with the remaining cooked food. I am not sure I am stuck between B and C, but I think I choose, I choose B. I know that a lot of people buy excess food and don't use it up and then they just throw it out so, um, so people should just buy exactly the amount they need and then um present some of your eating habits and do you follow the healthy eating so i i have to follow a healthier diet than an average person because I have gastroesophageal reflux disease and my stomach is very acidic and um, sensitive and I have a lot of problems with my stomach and at the moment I am on a alkaline only diet not only but mostly alkaline foods because there's, there is an imbalance in my stomach and it's very acidic. 